Hello everyone, my name is Brett. Sometimes I wear a beret, sometimes I don't, which you will not know for certain today. And sometimes I do go thrifting, which is a very common thing I know nowadays in Nerf, but I found some uh, interesting things. Some will be for future projects, some overall just kind of made me laugh, and some are pretty cool. So, without further ado, let's show you what first was the uh, kind of inspiration, because I found this, which uh, you may recognize something like this. This is a smaller saxophone to be sax busy, maybe. Here's the original, of course. Oh yes, it can fire two rockets. You'll see that later. Uh, but comparing it to the original one that I have, the length is actually about the same right here. It might be a little smaller in diameter. The top mouthpiece is a little smaller as well. Um, and then the openings at the bottom, this other one is a little smaller too. But I am going to do my best to put a, another XBZ in this one, and we'll see how that turns out. Mavericks for days. These are sacrificial Mavericks that I got recently. Yes, there's three of them. I usually don't get Mavericks, but I am in the mood to make some Absolvers. Yes, very simple. Right now, I also thrifted this Titan a little while ago, but uh, it's not doing as much power. It's not giving as much power as I want, so maybe I'll try uh, this Titan that I also found. It does not have a head on the rocket, but I know a thing or two. I also know a guy or two that could probably help me with that. Uh, the white Maverick. I think this is the current Maverick that they are giving out. Uh, what year is it? I don't care. Um, it's not anything special. I just don't actually have a white Maverick like this. I know it's not a whiteout Maverick. That's why. This one's here. Yes. I didn't actually find this myself thrifting. This was given to me by Jake a little while ago when he went thrifting. Which I must say, thank you very much, Jake. I love I love this thing. Uh, hopefully I would actually use this at a war. Assuming I don't damage it because whiteout and stuff. Hopefully you like the Magnum Super Drum that I gave you instead. Busby Baron. Barons are awesome. Triple Shot. A, uh, a newer newer model, if I'm not mistaken. I have a, I have the old one that's green and uh, gray, something. Actually, I was just thinking about getting one of these recently because I, uh, I actually want to make it more of a powerful quad shot blaster and not just use it as a shotgun because the Performance is meh. Blazing bow. That's all. My first ever AirTech blaster, AirTech 3000. Who would have thought it would take this long for me? The uh, gauge at the top doesn't seem to be working, but the blaster itself sounds fine. I will definitely want to mod that later. The Blast Fire. Now this one also seems... Well, this one actually does sound like it might have problems. I'm not sure how well you can hear it, but... Oh, you can't really hear that at all. But if I uh, do pump it up... Really fast, I can get a shot off. Um, I'll open this up and see if there's anything uh, really, really simple to fix. But I don't have one of these, definitely. Old Nerf is good Nerf. The last thing that I found in my recent uh, kind of Craigslist searching, uh, this was not in a Goodwill, that would be crazy. This is the original Nerf ball, the world's first indoor ball. There you can see it. Um, the Parker Brothers one from 1969, released in uh, 1970, if I'm not mistaken. The Nerf ball does it all. Waste basketball, sock soccer, Nerf and mitten, how to curve the Nerf. Hilarious. Uh, yeah, it is just in fact. Squishy ball. And uh, these are not 
super, super rare and expensive. Like if you're looking for a white out long strike or a red long shot. But these are kind of a nice piece of history that I'm happy to now have as a Nerf enthusiast. Uh, some of the safety uh, warnings on the side said you could throw it around indoors. You can't damage lamps or break windows. You can't hurt babies or old people. I didn't have any babies or old people to try hurting with this, but I did throw this at a few things. And I think it was fine. So yeah, Nerf Ball. I will definitely have this for display, unless the curator tries to steal this thing from me too. I'm gonna have like no vintage stuff left. Oy oy. Well, that's all I've found for now. I hope to uh, share any cool new finds in the future, but until next time, I'll see you later.